Uh, my name is Christine Spang, and for my poster, uh, I chose to present uh, about uh, the Tor project and how the Tor project uses uh, the Python programming language. Uh, so I'm not actually a Tor developer, but I have lots of friends who are, uh, and I think the project is really important, and I think I should get the word out there about uh, ways that you might be able to help the Tor project. Um, so if you're not familiar with Tor, um, it is uh, a piece of uh, free open source software that um, takes your internet traffic. So when you're, you're browsing the web and you type in a URL and like it sends some packets out over the wire, so it takes your internet traffic and it has uh, this, um, this network of nodes um, that are run by volunteers uh, all over the world and uh, it will take the packets that your computer is sending and it will bounce those packets uh, in between lots of different nodes in the Tor network. Uh, and this, um, so this makes it so that when your traffic comes out on the other side, uh, people can't tell where it's from. Uh, so Tor is a piece of software that uh, makes you anonymous online. Uh, and it's used by lots of different groups, uh, particularly activists. Uh, so people in like Syria, when all the all the uprisings were happening, used Tor uh, to keep them safe online. And it's also used by the military and people in the U.S. Uh, just anyone that wants to uh, keep their um, make their traffic anonymous. Um, so you might think that so Tor is this project that has this like very complicated uh, networking code. It's like pretty low level. Uh, so that's all written in C. But there are lots of other different parts of the Tor project that actually use Python. Uh, and I wanted to introduce some of those projects to you guys um, because uh, you too could help with the Tor project with using your knowledge of Python uh, by contributing to these projects. Um, so I have like an overview here uh, of some projects that uh, the Tor project is working on that are written in Python. Um, See where should I start? Uh, so over here is like on the on the right side we have some like more uh, mature projects that like don't really need a lot of help. So, but they're like good examples of like things that uh, the Tor project has done using Python. Um, so one is Get Tor. Um, so lots of people uh, have trouble actually getting to the Tor website because uh, their country um, censors the website. Um, so Get Tor uh, listens. Uh, over SMTP and will respond to email uh, with packages of the Tor software, uh, and that's all written in Python. Um, there's also uh, like a terminal-based uh, user interface called ARM uh, that'll like show uh, sort of monitoring statistics for people that are running Tor relays. Um, and there's also uh, this uh, website called TorCheck uh, that you go to, and it will tell you <laughs> whether or not you're actually successfully running Tor, which is pretty important if you uh, think that you've installed Tor and um, are trying to figure out whether you're actually anonymous online. Because um, it turns out there's like lots of li different ways where like your traffic can like sort of not actually be using Tor. Um, so this is like a really simple check that will uh, tell you whether or not you're actually on Tor. Uh, on the um, on the left side here uh, are some more like new projects that could probably definitely use a lot of new blood. Um, so uh, one is this project called Torflow, um, which is a collection of Python scripts, and uh, it is used to scan the Tor network uh, for like misbehaving nodes, uh, mis misconfigured nodes, nodes that have too much Tor traffic. Uh, or too much traffic that's being routed to them uh, in, in comparison to all the other uh, all the other nodes. Um, and like the end goal is to like make a sort of reputation system so that um, uh, Tor clients can use that uh, to like be a little smarter about routing their traffic. Anyway, so uh, take a look at the poster um, and if you want to learn more, um, there's a website uh, here on the bottom uh, torproject.org slash get involved slash volunteer.html and it talks about all these different projects and uh, you can also log on to IRC uh, there's a channel called hash tor dev and I think it's on Freenode uh, so check it out